and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and I am drinking wine this week out of a wine glass. <laughs> We're fancy this week. Ooh. So I recently bought myself some resin themed goodies. So our next few videos are going to be resin themed. Hope that's cool. <laughs> this one particular item package, it actually includes quite a few items. We are going to be making some necklaces. And it came with these nice little like circled, they're all circles with like a small little beveled edge. And there's four different colors of them. We also received a nice little container full of different dried flowers, leaves, like tiny little pieces of greenery. And also included are the actual strings or cords to wear your necklaces from. So it literally has everything minus the resin that you need to make some cool necklaces. And we're pretty familiar with putting flowers into resin. We've done some coasters and we did like our giant circle wall slash window hang. So we're not just going to be playing with the pressed flowers today. I've got another idea of something to put into these necklaces. So if you'd like to see how these necklaces turn out, please stick around. I have just mixed up a little bit of resin. It's not a whole lot. These necklaces really aren't super deep. They're pretty shallow. So I don't plan on using a lot of resin. I'm mostly gonna scoop this using either my popsicle stick. I also have a uh, tiny little plastic pipette and some toothpicks that we are going to utilize. So first, what we're going to be doing is just kind of the standard pressed flowers. Come on. Pressed flowers into these necklaces. The reason I bought this kit was because it comes with this nice little like, it almost <laughs> kind of looks like a pill container, but it's just a tiny little divided container that has a bunch of small dried flowers in here. They're different colors. They've got like leaf pieces. Um, yeah, little flowers, different, all sorts of stuff in there. And so I have pulled out some that we are going to place into these necklaces right now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna very carefully Use this toothpick to kind of like scooch it around. Trying to make sure it's all the way to the edge. I don't know if I like this one in here. So I scoop it out. Ooh. sticking up a little too much for my liking. There. So I've got that one. 
then we're going to try to do the same to this one with the big flower. So the flower is totally in there. This one is totally in there. And we're just gonna very gently heat it with the heat gun to pop any of these bubbles. So there are these two with the beautiful flowers. And then what we're doing with these two, if you can tell, these have paint skins underneath them, or not underneath them, in the middle. I just took some paint, the paint skins that I had left over, cut them in the shape of the indent on here and I actually super glued them into the bottom um, I want them to stay put I don't want them to float to the top at all even though these are like I said pretty shallow I glued them down with super glue into place and now we're just going to very gently fill it up with resin Do my best to keep these the little hooky things for the necklaces kind of get in the way a little bit And same thing as the flower ones, I'm just very gently trying to push it to the very edge. Also very gently going to heat that with the heat gun. Well, I think that's it as far as these go. We've got we've got two two done with the skins. and two that we did with these little cute dried flowers. And we are simply just gonna let them sit now, let the resin coat harden, and we'll come back and take a look at them when they're done. Okay guys, we are outside, the resin has cured, and it is time to see how our necklaces turned out. Here are the two flower ones. If I had to do this one over again, I might have chosen a darker background, but I think it's beautiful and kind of light and subtle. And here's our one with our big yellow flower in there and a little bit of the greenery. Now here are the two with the paint skins. I really like this orange one. I think the orange wood really complements the, the orange and the skin. And I also made Two additional ones just for funsies. Another paint skin one and another one with a flower. This little like pink poof 
was one that I removed from our first necklace and decided to throw it into here. So we have six very different, but very beautiful in their own way, different kinds of necklaces that are totally ready to wear and have the cords already attached. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. My links are always down in the description box below. We have my PayPal if you would like to contribute to the channel. Also my Instagram and my Facebook page are linked as well for any kind of updates and also for beautiful pictures of our finished pieces. I'll see you guys all for the next video.